Hello and welcome. I'm Aaron Sparshot, and in this presentation, I will be talking about how to create an online petroculture talk. To start off with, a bit of trivia. The literal Japanese meaning of petroculture is chit chat. So, what will we be talking about in today's presentation? Well, what is petroculture? What things do you need? Tools for content creation, audio editing, images, sharing tools, and tips for presenters. What is petroculture? Well, petroculture or PK is a presentation format. The talk has to be 6 minutes and 40 seconds long, and the talk has to have 20 slides. That means, on average, you spend 20 seconds per slide. Who uses petroculture? Well, it started off with architects showcasing their portfolios, but its usage has grown much wider. Nowadays, you will see academics, business people, photographers, a whole range of people using this format, as it is short, quick, and snappy. So really, the most exciting thing about petroculture is that it's an end to the boring old PowerPoint-style presentations. It brings with it novelty, conciseness, and an attention to content. At the heart of it, it's focusing on what you want to say and getting straight to the point. So first and foremostly, you need an idea. Remember, petroculture should be a fun project. You're volunteering your time to create a presentation that should be interesting and enjoyable to others. If you don't have any interest, it's going to be very hard to create the content you need in a short, snappy format. And this is where structure is important. You need to decide early on on a goal, an overall structure, divide your content into small sections, include an introduction and a summary, and finally add an agenda or outline slide so people know what to expect. Importantly, if the format isn't working for you, Adapt it. Change it to suit your needs. If you need to spend 40 seconds on the slide, then maybe present the same slide again, but slightly differently. Or just adapt the time period slightly so that you can fit in the content in that time frame. So what do you need to do an online talk? Well, firstly, you need the hardware, such as a computer and a microphone. Next, you need the software to run on these. And finally, you need the idea that's going to power this whole talk. So first up, we'll take a look at some creation tools that you're going to use to create your talk. You've got your classical Keynote for Mac, PowerPoint for Windows. You'll also have online options such as Google Docs, Google Drive, and Zoho. And finally, what I'm using today is a software called Prezi, which I find particularly useful. You also have the PowerPoint versus Keynote battle. For rapidly building a complex presentation with multiple slides, PowerPoint is your best bet. While Keynote is useful for animating tables, moving objects along a complex path, and giving a presentation remotely. After creating your presentation, you will want to record it. Some tools you can use are Camstasia Studio for Windows and Mac, ScreenFlow for Mac, Cam Studio for Windows, Jing for Windows and Mac, and Screener, which is an online screen capturing solution. You'll then probably want to edit your audio. A good audio editing software is Audacity, which is free and is available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Other paid options include Adobe Audition for Windows and Mac, and Avid Pro for Windows and Mac. Next, you'll want to grab some images for your presentation. So where do you go to find images, and which ones can you freely use? Importantly, there are a number of common licensing arrangements that you need to be aware of. Creative Commons is the most popular, followed by the GNU Public License, and finally, images released to the public domain. Image search tools that you can use include Creative Commons Wiki, Creative Commons Search, Compfight, Google Images using the advanced search feature, and Flickr, and there are many more options as well. 
Once you have done all of this, you should be ready to share your presentation with the wider world. You can use tools such as AuthorStream, YouTube, Vimeo, SlideShare and Impressor to share your presentation on the wider web. Here are some tips and tricks. Invest time in preparation. Large images work best. Use as little text as possible. No more than four images per slide. Make things consistent and let your slides do most of the work. Limit animation as it is a distraction. You may have realized that this presentation has a lot of practical implications as well. The PK style is useful for presenting short, concise talks, and you could use this to create free and open access medical education presentations as well. Finally, here are some references and further reading that I used to kickstart my research on picture culture. I've also got a list of the images I incorporated in this talk shown below. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation. We've taken a long journey from the beginning of what was petroculture to the things you need to get an online talk working. So just to recap, you need an idea and then you need the tools to make that idea a reality. Thank you.